My name is Garrett Tyra. I was born in Shady Grove, Maryland in 1992 to two loving parents. I had a pretty good childhood and an amazing family, of which I am the oldest of four. I spent most of those days playing sports and spending time with my family. But unlike other kids, some of those years went by a little differently. SIPO Chronic Intestinal Pseudo-Obstruction It's a rare condition with no explainable rhyme or reason, and I was diagnosed when I was 9 months old. My condition doesn't allow me to eat or absorb food like normal people would. As of now, the only proven cure is to fall out of a tree. I'm not kidding. They made a movie about it. Google it. But back to my story. While most kids had yearly checkups at the doctors and hated it, the hospital was my second home. Needless to say, I hated it the most. When high school came, I made some amazing friends, and I was truly happy. There, I met my first love. She was passionate and full of life. She was stubborn, but so loving at the same time. She set my mind free and allowed my body to wander. Dance. Yes, my love was not a person, but an art, a physical expression. And she would forever change my life. A friend had encouraged me to give it a shot, and what I felt was this invigorating, passionate, amazing sensation in my heart. I was free, and I was hooked. But when I started to feel like all the pieces in my life were coming back together, it all came crumbling down. On the night of December 13th, 2010, I was admitted to Children's Hospital after having agonizing, paralyzing stomach pains for four days. The next night, the doctors came to my room bearing life-changing news. Major emergency surgery. Perforations, holes were in my intestines. Four hours later, it was done. It took three days of fading in and out of consciousness for me to finally wake up, but no amount of time could prepare me for what was waiting. My colon, large intestine, and 192 centimeters of my small intestine, gone. Just like that. The doctors had taken the end portion of what was left of my intestines to protrude it through my abdomen with something called an ostomy bag to cover it. I had new medical needs and a year-long estimated recovery time. How was I going to make this work? How am I going to dance? How can I take on all this extra medical responsibility? I had so many questions and no answers. I felt lost. I felt like I boarded a train without knowing my destination. I would be in the hospital for the next three months. During my recovery, I remember walking down the hallway with my mother and suddenly breaking down and feeling overwhelmed by hopelessness. With tears running down my eyes and hers, I listened as she said, I don't know how, but we will figure this out. I, without a doubt, have one of the most loving and supportive families in the world. Every day I was in the hospital, someone would always be there. I was never lonely. They were always there to lift me up. My father, he's my hero. He would always spend the nights and be there to keep me company. We'd turn what would usually be a depressing situation into a fun one. My mother, She's someone I share my feelings with. Good or bad, she'd always be there to celebrate, guide, or comfort me. They're more than I could have asked for. I don't know what I could have done without them. They instilled in me the love, confidence, and most of all, the appreciation of the little things. Because of them, I'm happy. I've never let my condition be a crutch or a reason not to pursue my passions with all my heart. I have so much to be thankful for. I consider myself one of the luckiest people in the world. A loving family and friends and a world of opportunities at my fingertips is more than enough. 
Hopefully, I can live a life that inspires others to believe that they, too, can achieve anything that they want. While some may see my situation as a hardship and a negative impact on my life, we, as individuals, get to choose how we embrace each moment. For me, personally, there's always a bright side. Life is such a gift, and anything could happen, so it just makes sense to live it to the fullest without any regrets. By embracing my situation, I felt that by following my heart and accepting the journey, doors would open and life would just fall into place, as long as I continue to have faith. I've already lived such an exciting and fulfilling life, and I'm only more excited for what the future holds. And yes, like everyone else, I'll have my ups and downs, my doubts and my fears, but I'll continue to live life to the fullest and focus on the positive. They say a hero is someone who finds the strength to persevere in spite of overwhelming odds. Every story deserves a hero. Yours is waiting. <laughs>